Glamorlanders! We're back with another video, but today's story is called The Golden Arm. Let's get into it! There was once a little girl named Elizabeth who was born with only half of her left arm. She was a sweet little girl and everyone loved her. Elizabeth grew up to be a very... Intelligent. Intelligent and beautiful woman. I love how we're reading, like, fluently. But none of the men in town seemed to be interested in her or asked her for her hand in marriage. Elizabeth's heart was broken. She thought she would never find love. Then one day, she met a handsome and wealthy man named Colin. They fell in love immediately. Not long after, Colin asked Elizabeth to marry him, and she said yes. The wedding was like a fairy tale. No one had ever seen such a beautiful day. Instead of giving Elizabeth a golden ring, he gave her a beautiful golden arm. The golden arm fit perfectly. Now Elizabeth had a complete left arm, and it was beautiful. <clears throat> Elizabeth and Colin were as happy as they could be. And then, tragically stuck, Elizabeth felt terrible, ill. Elizabeth, wait. Is it my, oh yeah. Elizabeth changed completely. She became a cruel and screamed at Colin all the time. And then at the end, I will read like the last chapters. Okay. All she ever talked about was her golden arm. Colin knew that she loved the arm more than she loved him. Dang. She always made him pr prom. He oh my god. She always made him promise that once she dies, he w would bury her with her golden arm. Of course, he would always promise. <clears throat> Sorry if I messed up, guys. It's alright. When Elizabeth died, Colin's heart was broken. He buried her with her golden arm, just as he promised. But Colin's bad luck continued. His factory burned down and his crops failed. He was now poor. Oh no. The bankers came and told them that they were taking his house and land. Colin had to do something, but what? He painfully decided to borrow Elizabeth's golden arm. He dug her back up and took the golden arm. Here, I'm going to read the last quick pictures. Quick. Oh, okay. I want to read Col this one. You do? Yeah. Okay, last one. Okay. Colin sold the arm and paid the bank. The goldsmith, is that right? Yeah. Melted the arm and made many different things with gold. Okay, my okay, turn. You can read the rest now. That well, night. one more Huh? I wanted, to oh. what? I wanted to read one more, but it's fine. You can read it. No, Layla, you do it. Okay. That night, Colin couldn't sleep. He thought he could hear Elizabeth's voice in the wind. Okay, no more. I'm doing it. He seemed to... Be, she seemed to be saying, Where's my golden arm? The voice get closer and closer. Now the voice was outside the door. Colin, where's my golden arm? The voice demanded angrily. Boom! The door flew open and Elizabeth's ghost came in floating. She was pale and had red glowing eyes. That's scary. I know. Where's my golden arm? She screamed. Colin tried to explain that he had to borrow it. But he promised he would make her a new one. I don't want a new one. I want mine. She screamed in anger. Oh, no. She exp he explained to her that the goldsmith had melted the arm so he couldn't get it back. Elizabeth shrieked in anger and flew over to Colin. She grabbed him and dragged him all back to her grave. Oh, no. No one have ever heard or saw from Colin again. They said that Elizabeth is still roaming the earth looking for every drop of her golden arm. 
Is there a jump scare in this one? Yeah. Every scene has a, every story has a jump scare. And we all know that gold is found in many different electrical d devices like phones, computers, or iPads. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe some of Elizabeth's golden arm is in your phone, computer, or iPad. Tell us when the jump scare. You never know, but you might find out. Yep, there it is. Hey, that one's not the scary this time. Well, thank you so much, Glamorlanders, and we will see you in the next story. Bye! Bye!